Hey guys, it is me, Episodic, and welcome back to free-to-play series in Last Earth Survival. So today we're gonna do one of the best things that a free-to-play player can do, and that is clearing Bunker Alpha. Last time we have cleared the second floor, and we have gotten here a decent amount of loot. We've gotten this entire leather set, which we are gonna use. And then for finishing almost this entire Act 1, we have gotten here a decent amount of weapons. So check this out. We have here a decent amount of Glocks. We have here some melee weapons, which is not gonna be enough for the third floor. And the best melee weapons in this game are gonna be crowbars, because they're super cheap. Obviously, they're stronger weapons. I'm not saying the crowbars are the strongest weapons, but they are really cheap to craft. So let's just get a little bit of leather. In one of these chests, we should have some more iron. Let's get that and check this out. We're gonna craft these. Wait, we've unlocked some new things. But hey, check this out. These crowbars are really cheap. All we need is just seven iron bars and three leather. So let's craft a few crowbars because we will absolutely need that. We don't really need any guns to clear the third floor, but I always suggest you to bring some weapons with you. So I'm gonna get these two blocks. I'm also gonna get this finger just so that we can get even more loot. And let's get this entire leather armor. So this is the loot that I'm gonna take to the third floor. And in case we don't have enough stuff, we still have lots of items in this inbox. So for those who do not know, we've gotten all of this loot inside of this inbox, either from Seasons or from the survival guide that you get at the very beginning of the game. So we do have here lots of items. Wait, I haven't even gotten this bookshelf. Wait, let's get that bookshelf and let's place it somewhere at the base. Why not? I'm going to probably place it over here. Inside of this bookshelf, we can store here coupons. And plus, we've gotten here some survivor notes. Okay, let's keep these notes for now. Because for those who do not know, you can get double the experience from the healer. And then with that healer, you can read these books and get double the experience, obviously. And I'm glad that we've gotten these coupons, so let's get them. We're gonna bring them back to Bunker Alpha. And on the global map, we can see this abandoned convoy event, so it's not just a regular abandoned convoy event. At level 30, you get this event, and then you'll be able to unlock Sector 7. But again, in order to get to that Sector 7, we have to do this event. But we're gonna do that event a bit later, as the third floor in Bunker Alpha is waiting for us. Alright, so we are at Bunker Alpha, and last time we have stored here some of these coupons. So let's get all of the red coupons, let's get all of the yellow coupons. I'm kind of curious if I have any other coupons here. I think I don't have anything else. Nope, that's it. That's all we have. So hopefully I'll get enough coupons to unlock either a yellow or a red crate. I'd love to unlock one of those. Would be even better if we could unlock both of those. Let's deal with a few zombies over here and check this out. I don't really know if you know this. I'm pretty certain a lot of you know that, but again, if you're a new player in the game, you can get these cut fingers from the abandoned coin, but you don't always get them, but sometimes you do get them when you're lucky enough. And once you get that thing, you'll be able to open up this door here. Then you can insert this finger and boom. Here we're going to get some awesome loot. It's not the best loot in the game, but it's always nice to open this place up. So as soon as you get this finger, you can come here. And you probably always get the same stuff. You can get here one copper bar, which is decent. You can also get this Glock. You can get here some more bandages. So let's probably get most of these things. I'm going to get this Glock and I'll come back for the copper bar later because I don't... Maybe I'm going to keep it here for now. So I took this Glock as I stacked the canned food. Now let's keep this pipe for later, I'm gonna use these crowbars as crowbars are pretty cheap to craft, so I'd rather use them on these basic zombies, and I'm gonna use that pipe on something stronger. So if I haven't mentioned it yet, this is going to be like a guide on how to clear the third floor, because I've made a guide on how to clear the second floor last time, as during these series, my goal is to teach new players on how to play the game, and you absolutely need to know how to clear the second and the third floor, so I've already shown you how to clear the second floor, so let me show you now how to clear the third floor. So the third floor obviously doesn't differ much from the second floor. If you have cleared the second floor then you will be able to clear this floor as well so what i'm trying to do here is obviously separate these zombies again i'm gonna let this guy punch me through the wall except he cannot punch us through the wall so once again we're doing here some sort of a wall check and now we can wall check this floater bloater so it was way easier to deal with both of these guys when this floater bloater was attacking us through a wall. So that's what I try to say, that the second floor is not going to be much different from the third floor, because your main goal here is to wall trick as much as possible, because without wall tricking, you are going to use here more healing items. And also, your main goal here is to save as many glocks as possible. Do not use your guns here at all. Save them for whatever else you want to save them. You don't have to use any guns here in this game, because you can start saving your guns for Bunker Bravo, as you don't really need to waste any of the guns here. So if I had here a bit stronger weapon, like maybe like a saw blade mace or something, I'd be able to kill this toxic spitter with just one attack but i don't have it so we're gonna use the scroll bar let's deal it with it like that and then we have this toxic bomb so you don't really have to wall trick it again you can just fight that toxic bomb like that but here i'm gonna try to show as many tips and tricks as possible so let's say still you don't know how to wall trick I want to show you the as many examples as possible on how to wall check in this game. Because I do know that it can be tricky. So there we go. That's how you deal with this toxic abomination. Let's get that stuff. There is also going to be a turret. I would suggest you to not fight it at all. 
as uh, what's the point to waste any guns on it. It does have some loot inside of that chest over here that you can see on the minimap, but it's not that much worth it. So this room is going to have a bunch of zombies. I would suggest you to get a better melee weapon so we could get this metal pipe, but I think for now it's going to be fine with the crowbar. Let's say you don't have a metal pipe. Let's try to go over here and let's see if we'll be able to wall trick them from this wall over here. All right, we can get at least some of them. And I actually don't know if it actually even works. Okay, so let's go down there. That wall didn't work. Let's try to lure them this way. There we go. Now we can probably do something. There we go. Somehow, some way it works. So if one wall doesn't work, just lead them to another wall. It doesn't have to work out on the first wall. Plus, these guys are not frenzy giants, so they cannot kill you with one attack. Wait, let's wait for them to do the attack. And there we go. Let's keep dealing with that toxic abomination. So as you can see, we are saving here an insane amount of healing items. Because if we had to deal with all of those toxic bombs and all of those zombies in that room, they'd be shredding our armor into smithereens. There we go, we have just leveled up. I didn't even have to use any healing items. And now let's deal with this one fast biter. Usually fast biters are harder to wall check because they don't want to stay behind the wall. But this time it worked out, so let's get all of that. Now let's loot these crates over here. Sometimes they can have some healing items. And while we are looting that, let's get here a skill. Let's probably get the lumberjack perk. Doesn't really matter. And inside of this place, we've gotten another green ticket. Okay, lovely. Let's get some bolts. And behind that door, there's going to be a Frenzy Giant. So again, Frenzy Giant is one of your bigger enemies as that guy can almost one-shot you. Again, if you have tactical armor, he's not going to one-shot you, but he's still going to do a decent amount of damage. I think you're going to get over 80 damage. So there you go. There's this zombie. We could probably wall check him here on this door. I don't know if I would suggest you doing that as it's a pretty tricky wall. So I'm just going to show you maybe a few more walls on where you can wall check him. So here it's a very tricky wall. He can punch you through the wall. Oh my goodness, I almost died there. So maybe I'm going to let him come a bit, a bit closer. There we go. Perhaps it's going to work now. Again, it's a kind of tricky wall. So be very careful with this wall. I'm going to show you that there are more walls to deal with them. Okay, we can do here a few more attacks. Maybe I'll let him down to like 100 health or something. Then I'll lead him to another wall and show you that, hey, you don't have to deal with him here at this wall because it's a very tricky wall. Okay, so my crowbar just broke. Let's get here another crowbar. So as I said, some of these walls are a bit different. So when you can see this kind of door, right? Not a door that slides, but a door that opens. Then I can punch it through the wall. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So look at this. I can still punch this guy through the wall. And if I can punch him through the wall, that means he can punch me through the wall as well. There go, the guy's gonna punch me, so we can go all the way here. I waited for him to stop punching me. And check this out. Now, through this thing, I'm not gonna be able to punch him through the wall. I'll have to peek through that corner even further. I'm gonna let this guy come close. I can still let him come closer because this is a bit different wall. Look at this. I'm not gonna be able to punch him through here, but I need to kind of go further. And only then I'll be able to punch him. And this is a bit different wall. And there we go. We were able to deal with this frenzy giant without getting any damage at all. So we didn't have to use any guns. And on top of that, we've gotten a red ticket from this frenzy giant, which that's the whole point of killing these frenzy giants is after you collect 30 red tickets, you will be able to open up a red crate. And in Bunker Alpha, there's also a hard mode. So you can activate hard mode. You can go to the third floor and then you can fight their, uh, the blind one. And that blind one is going to give you 10 red tickets, but it's not really extremely worth it to go and fight that blind one. Again, it's not all about guns. The blind one gives you 10 red tickets and from 30 red tickets, you can get four guns. So 10 tickets are going to give you about 1.3 guns. And you're going to use more than that to kill the blind one. Plus, you'll have to get to the blind one. Plus, you'll have to use some of your armor and some of your healing items. So those 10 red tickets might not be completely worth it. But at the same time, you are also getting some of the hard mode items. So you know what? If you want to fight the blind one, you should probably go and fight it. Okay, let's deal with the toxic spitter. Okay, so the wall trick didn't really work here, but doesn't matter. Okay, let's try to replenish our health here. And we got this frenzy giant over here. So if you had a saw blade mace, you would be able to maybe attack this frenzy giant. With the crowbar, it's not really going to work because this dude is going to see us. So now let's try to lure him all the way up here as that's what we're going to deal with this frenzy giant. Again, it's kind of trickier to deal with them when you don't see yourself. But your character here most of the time stays in the middle of the screen so you can just feel where your character is located. I'm going to let this guy come a bit a bit closer. So okay, here we got to be careful. As you can see, I'm attacking this frenzy giant through the wall as once again, this is a bit different door. This is a door that opens up, not a door that slides sideways. And if you have here weaker weapons, like let's say golf clubs, you can't even use golf clubs here on the frenzy giant as using golf clubs anywhere else is not going to be very efficient as they don't really do that much damage. Almost got attacked there as I did swing too far. So yeah, golf clubs are not going to be useful against other zombies as they don't do that much damage, but they can be useful against these frenzy giants as fr these frenzy giants cannot attack you through the wall anyways. And if you don't make any mistakes, you can at least put these golf clubs to use. Now they're going to be a bunch of those toxic spitters. They're a very 
tricky to wall trick, so I don't even know if that's gonna work out. I'm gonna try to stay here. Maybe it won't work, or maybe it will work. Well, let's see what we can do here. Not really certain if it works. I think we're still getting some of the damage. But in any case, we are at least kind of separating them. And yeah, you know what? This wall trick works. Look at this. We were able to wall trick three of those toxic spitters. Again, we have gotten some of the damage. But when you're wall tricking, you're not wall tricking just to get no damage. You're also wall tricking to reduce your damage. And if we have reduced our damage, we have saved some of the durability in our armor. That means we have succeeded in wall tricking. Let's try to sneak. So over here in this room, we would have the blind one. But again, I cannot enter it here because Bunker Alpha is not in hard mode now. And once again, we could deal with this toxic spitter if we had some sort of a saw blade mace. Maybe I even have it in the inbox. Again, I kind of don't want to get it. We do have a saw blade mace here, but I don't want to get it as we don't have enough space in the inventory. But actually, we're going to have more space really soon. So let's get that thing here. So let's get the saw blade mace. Again, if you don't have saw blade maces, then you don't have saw blade maces. But if you have it, I want to show you what we what you can do. You can go and deal with this toxic spitter. You attack it, then you sneak, and then you'll be able to attack this toxic abomination. And look at this. You don't really have to go back and wall trick it because it is going to get tiring to run around every single wall and wall trick every single zombie here. So you didn't have to wall trick these guys. And look at this. We just dealt with them without any wall tricks. Let's heal up here with some of these carrots. We have replenished our hunger. Let's get more canned food. And I think it's time for us to open up this door. There are going to be some of these zombies. Let's try to wall trick them. So we have to hug the wall over here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And let's try to attack this toxic abomination. So it was kind of worth it to go in a wall and uh, sneak attack him with that saw blade mace. But again, if you don't have saw blade maces, then don't worry about it. You can also use a skull crusher for it. As skull crusher does 45 damage. And I think saw blade mace does 55 so skull crusher is going to be decent as well if you don't have those you can use a road sign basically whatever weapon that deals more damage than your crowbar as you can do triple the damage when you sneak attack so the more damage you do to those toxic bombs the better and look at this we were able to deal with a bunch of these toxic bombs with almost using no healing items oops okay that didn't work that didn't work i messed up I messed up. Now I have to use some of the healing items I definitely spoke too soon. But still, it wasn't that big of a deal. And look at this. We've just leveled up again. So that's why I keep saying that the best way to level up in this game is by doing Bunker Alpha. Now, let's go to our skills. And maybe here we're going to get extra pocket or a burglar perk. We've gotten a self-healing perk, which is decent. Let's get that self-healing perk as... On this account, I think it might be kind of useful. So let's activate the self-healing perk over here. It's going to be now behind the face cam. It takes quite a while to load it up. So I might be just forgetting to use it, but... I'll do my best to not forget it, as this healing part here might be actually useful. There we go. Let's get these toxic spitters. Let's try to separate them. Okay, that might actually work here. There we go. We've once again separated these toxic spitters, and my armor has broken. So let's get this leather armor. There we go. It's going to be bloody lovely. And the third floor is better than the second floor, as it has many more frenzy giants. Look at this. There's going to be one more frenzy giant over here. Let's try to heal up with this jerky. Let's try to get this thing. And let's try to sneak attack it again. Sneak attacking Frenzy Giants is kind of tricky. I don't know if I would suggest doing that. Okay, that's not going to work. We have to find a perfect spot. Okay, that's probably going to work from over here. Okay, we did not get punched in the face. So we can also probably wall check this guy from here again. It's a very tricky wall. I wouldn't suggest you doing here on this wall. I'm actually going to go over here. As that wall was very tricky... I'd rather wall check him over here. I'm going to let him come a bit closer. I think he can still come a bit, a bit closer. There we go. That's going to be fine. And there we go. Now just rinse and repeat. We have to get this frenzy giant and that frenzy giant guarded two boxes. So I want to go and open up those boxes. Sometimes they contain probably guns. Sometimes they also contain coupons. So it's definitely worth it to loot all the boxes in Bunker Alpha. All right. So the frenzy giant has just a little bit of health left. Just 29 health. Let's do this. Let's do that. And there we go. We've gotten some more experience. Sadly, we've gotten just a yellow coupon. I'd rather get a red coupon than a yellow coupon. But you know what? That's fine. So after we get 25 of those yellow ones, we'll be able to open up a yellow crate. Which is absolutely awesome. We've gotten here another thick jacket. Maybe I'll get it. As you can kind of repair these thick jackets and get a reinforced set. I'm going to show you how that reinforced set looks like. I don't even know if we have unlocked it yet. I don't even remember in which level we unlocked that. Okay, so we've gotten another yellow coupon. That is lovely. Maybe let's get the aluminum wires. Why not? And look at this. We've just unlocked this reinforced armor. So look at this. It's not that expensive to craft it. All we need is just this leather armor. We need also a little bit of leather, some glue, some iron plates, and nails. And then we'll be able to craft this entire armor. And the coolest part about it is that we don't have to have a full durability armor here. We, we can use these broken beanies to craft a full durability reinforced uh, set there. It's called reinforced beanie. I thought it's going to be like some sort of a reinforced beanie helmet or whatever. It's just called a reinforced beanie. Okay. 
Now we can deal with these guys. Let's try to wall check them. We will see if that's going to work out. Okay, so that works out well. Sometimes they're not going to be synced, so it's going to be a bit harder. And if they're not synced, you can just run to another wall or just soak up some damage. As you know what, getting like 5 or 10 damage from one zombie isn't that big of a deal. Okay, so let's deal with this toxic bomb. And I want to show you something interesting. So when we go over here, there is a door. And it says that you can kind of smash it with a crowbar. But it makes no sense to destroy this door with a crowbar. Actually, I just broke my weapon. I should not have done that. How much dur- Oh, wow, it uses so much durability. I did not know it. Never do it again. I didn't know that it used that much durability. I've been playing this game for five years, and I've never destroyed that door. I think I've destroyed that door only maybe once or twice when I started playing this game, and that's it. But I had no idea that it uses that much durability, so don't do it. I just wasted a crowbar there. Well, it makes no sense to do that. Just go through this way, and that's it. It's gonna be a bit better. Maybe you can use that crowbar to maybe then sneak attack some more zombies, but it's not worth it. Don't waste your crowbars. Okay, so let's try to sneak attack this French giant again. If you get too close, let's say if I'm gonna go here and I'll sneak attack him here right now, I'll get punched in the face. So you need to go from further away and then you try to attack it. And if your character keeps moving towards that French giant, then stop and go closer yourself. Because if you're gonna attack this French giant from over here, it's also gonna punch you in the face. You have to find the perfect spot. There you go, my character walks closer. I'm gonna go back. My character still walks closer, and maybe I ran from this place. There we go, that worked. So it's gonna work from this distance, probably. There we go, we were able to do it. Now let's hide behind the wall. So it is kind of tricky. Sneak attacking those frenzy giants with a saw blade maze is very, very tricky. It's even hard to explain. So if you cannot sneak attack them, don't worry about it. Wait, we're gonna save this thing for later. Let's get here ourselves a crowbar. So you can just wall check them. Don't worry about sneak attacking. But sneak attacking definitely saves you some time. There we go, we can do a few more attacks. And the guy has only one more health left. There we go, let's deal with that. We've gotten another green coupon, which is horrible. Oh no, we, we did not get the green coupon from the Frenzy Giant. We've picked it up from someone else. The Frenzy Giant gave us another red ticket. That's lovely. Let's open up this door. Let's hide here behind the wall. And also, speaking of this, those red tickets and the blind one, as I said, it's not all about guns. So if you want to assemble your chopper faster, obviously killing the blind one is going to be worth it as the blind one will give you more red tickets and you'll be able to open up that red crate faster. So... It is worth it to kill the blind one. I'm not saying that it's not worth it. But if you absolutely want to get more guns, then the blind one is not 100% profit. But as I said, it's not all about guns. It's not all about profit. Sometimes maybe you just want to get that gas tank or a chopper fork or something. Plus, you do get two armor sets from the red crate. So the red crate has other benefits uh, rather than just four guns. But I just wanted to let you know that you won't always profit when you fight the blind one. And there we go. We just dealt with the French giant. Let's get another red ticket. And I cannot open up this crate because we don't have the skill burglar at level two, sadly. That's why every time I level up and I keep my fingers crossed that hopefully one day we're going to get that burglar perk. And also, I think we have here some sort of an event. We have this supply event that has just started today. So we'll be able to get another military backpack. Okay, that's awesome. So in five hours, we'll be able to open up that crate. So hopefully we'll get more points. And who knows? Maybe we'll even get that purple crate, the extremely rare cargo. So before we deal with these other zombies, let's loot this vending machine. Sometimes it has some food. So it's always, always, always worth it to loot this vending machine. Let's get here to canned food. And let's deal with this toxic spitter. Again, we're not going to be able to deal with them with a crowbar, but we can probably deal with them with a saw blade mace. There we go. We just got that. And let's deal with another toxic spitter. As you saw, we did not run back to another wall to wall trick them as they don't really do that much damage. So as I said, you don't have to wall trick all of them. Let's now hide over here and let's deal with the toxic abomination. So here is... Maybe not the hardest. I mean, it depends. If you're struggling with the wall tricking, then probably this is going to be the hardest part in the game as there will be lots of and lots of frenzy giants in one spot. And in one spot, I mean that there will be lots of frenzy giants in these rooms. It doesn't mean that there will be five frenzy giants just standing literally in one spot. But we've gotten some more skills and all of them are kind of useless. So let's probably get this hot-blooded perk. You can endure the cold more easily and freeze 2% more slowly. All of those perks were kind of bad anyways. So let's try to sneak attack this frenzy giant again if it's even going to work. Maybe we're going from the wrong side. Maybe. Maybe we should have went from the top. Actually, I should have went from the top probably. Would have been better. Okay, let's try to attack him here. And that kind of worked. That's nice. So now let's hide here behind the wall again. Let's let him come a bit, a bit closer. Maybe he can come closer. There we go, that works. So again, once you let him come closer, be careful and don't let him attack you from further away because these frenzy giants can attack you wirelessly. So just be careful and try to always stay behind the wall or something. Let's hide over here. Let's get here another crowbar. And I think we are running out of melee weapons. But hey, luckily, as I said, we have a decent amount of melee weapons in our inbox. And here we've gotten another red ticket. So we can open up this door. We can get another one of these ones. 
another Sawblade Mason. Let's try to sneak attack this Frenzy Giant again. As I said, sneak attacking those Frenzy Giants is very tricky. Will that work? There we go. That did work. Also, you can maybe turn around from that Frenzy Giant and then sneak attack him. I think it also increases your odds of them not attacking you. As I said, the sneak attacking is very, very tricky. So you can keep practicing and you can find your ways on how to sneak attack those Frenzy Giants. And also, if you cannot wall trick, you can sneak attack them with that Sawblade Mason, then fight them with, let's say, Zip Guns or Glocks or whatever other guns that you have. But as you can see yourself, it's just better to learn how to wall trick them and you will profit in no time. But still, let's say you don't know how to wall trick and you cannot wall trick, then don't worry about it. You can still profit in this game if you're going to kill these Frenzy Giants with just Glocks and that's it. Let's say you're not going to use your Glocks or anything else. Then you can still progress in this game. You can still profit, especially if you're going to sneak attack those Frenzy Giants with a Sawblade Maze. Then they'll have even less health, so you'll have to use less guns. But if you want to progress the fastest way possible, then wall tricking is the key to that. Let's get some more boots. That's awesome. We're going to get the thick fabric. I'm going to leave this watch as we don't really need it. So let's open up this door. We don't really need to deactivate that stuff as there are these lasers. So we can just deactivate these lasers. And those lasers don't really do anything anyways. So I don't really know why I keep deactivating that stuff every time I come into this room. But let's just do it. So we've gotten the aluminum wires, the survival coupons. So finally, we got 25 of these yellow coupons. We'll be able to open up a yellow crate. We still need to get eight red tickets, which I don't know if we're going to get today. And obviously, we need to have more melee weapons. So we have here a cleaver, which we could obviously use. But we also got a machete. So let's get that machete. I'm going to use that machete on this zombie. There go. Let's let him come a bit, a bit closer. Once again, be careful. Try to start hiding behind the wall already. As you can see, I'm luring him through this side. I'm not going in front of him to lure him there as he's going to just walk through the door and he'll punch me through that door. So I'm letting him go like that. There we go. And it kind of worked. So now all we have to do is just wall check this guy. Also, another tip and trick is that I would absolutely suggest you to have maybe first aid kits or maybe at least bandages in your healing items. Because if that frenzy giant punches you, you might forget to quickly heal up or something. You might panic as every time they attack you, you do panic a little bit. That's just what happens. So just be careful because if they're going to attack you and you don't have enough healing items and if you don't heal up in time, you will be in trouble. Okay, I think we still have that pipe. Oh, no, we've used up all of the melee weapons that we had. We only have this machete now. And with this machete, it's so easy. As you do 30 damage, so it's just fast, easy, efficient. So if you don't want to craft crowbars, you can craft machetes. It's fine if you have the resources for it. And here we've gotten more aluminum wires. Let's get that. Let's get these batteries to recycle. Because for those who didn't know, the best way to get copper in this game is by recycling batteries. Then you're going to get copper. And then you can smell that copper into steel. And that's how it's done. So now let's try to sneak attack behind these guys. I don't know if I'll be able to sneak, the, sneak attack them without the sawblade mace. So I'll just get it. There we go. That did work. So now three zombies are going to attack us. We can hide here behind the wall. And I'm hiding behind this wall because if I had hid behind that other wall here, then I think they'd be attacking us. So hiding here is just better. And once again, we are fighting three of those zombies at the same time behind the wall. Sometimes we do get punched in the face, but that's okay. Sometimes we don't get punched in the face and sometimes we punch them. Everything's fine, and there we go. Now there's only one toxic bomb left. And we are almost done with this third floor. Can you believe that? There we go. Let's deal with this guy. Let's get the rest of the coupons. We've gotten more green, and we have 15 green. So if I'm going to get five more green, we'll be able to open up a green and a yellow crate. Your goal is to keep opening up three of those crates every time Bunker Alpha resets. So that's why you should be sometimes killing that blind one, because sometimes you'll have, like, let's say 27 red, and you don't have enough red tickets. Then you can go and fight the blind one, and then you'll have enough red tickets for the next few runs in Bunker Alpha. As next time, if you're going to get 27 red tickets from Bunker Alpha, you'll have some spare tickets left from that blind one now let's get the tickets here boom let's get that and more thick cloth let's open up this door and that's it we are almost almost done with this place there's also this huge room with lots of zombies in it i'm still gonna probably clear it just to show for you hey what awaits you there but that room is very tricky so maybe i should be saving my machete on that room as that room will definitely require a machete so maybe let's get ourselves here a cleaver i'm gonna save that machete because I want to show you how to clear that other room. How would I clear it? I wouldn't suggest even clearing that room. But again, we're going to talk about it a bit later. Now, let's open up this door over here. We got ourselves a toxic abomination. So, we can use this thing to do more damage. And I forgot to use the self-healing skill. There we go. Just probably wasted it. <laughs> we did it. I used the self-healing skill. Should have used it maybe right now when I've gotten more damage. But it's alright. Let's deal with this guy. Now we have the Toxic Spitter here. Let's deal with the Toxic Spitter. And we have just leveled up. So let's 
use this terminal to open up this door and now we can leave the third floor but we're not done yet there's still a bunch of zombies to deal with here so let's probably get this thing we have four percent chance to get extra ore when mining iron let's get it let's confirm that and we have here a few zombies to deal with so let's try to lure this toxic abomination so that frenzy giant doesn't go after us and we can wall check now this toxic bomb like that by going further away from him, he cannot attack us. Because look at this, if we're going to stay here, he is going to punch us. So we got to keep going lower. And everything's going to be fine. There we go. Let's get it and let's deal with the frenzy giant. I mean, I have full health. We have this saw blade mace. So let's try to attack him again. I think we can attack him from around this place. Okay, maybe like this. There we go. That did work. We can hide now behind the wall. We can get our cleaver. Attacking him with a cleaver is going to be kind of tricky because cleaver has a really, really low range. So I'm going to let him come very close. There we go, like that. And it is going to work fine. So wall checking with a cleaver is a bit more tricky. But when you let them come a bit closer, and especially on this wall, it is relatively easy. There we go. We got one more attack to do. We have dealt with this guy. Let's get another red ticket. So we are 24 red. We need six more red. Maybe even today we're going to go and fight the blind one. We'll see. I can't promise anything as we don't know. But maybe. Just maybe. There's nothing here. Another yellow ticket from that guy. That's awesome. We have 29 yellow. I also need four more red. So there are a bunch of zombies here. Let's try to deal with them. It's going to be a bit tricky. You won't be able to even sneak attack them as these zombies will see you. Look at this. They, they will see you. So we can hide over here behind the door. And let's try to deal with them now. Maybe we can like let some of them out of that room. So we can just keep twitching like this. There we go. One of them just left that room. So now we can deal with just one toxic spirit instead of dealing with five of them at the same time. And let's see. They're almost synced up. So we can kind of do some damage without getting too much damage ourselves. And look at this. We just dealt with that room. With almost getting no damage at all. Which is kind of awesome. Again, this machete definitely has helped us a lot. Without machete, it would have been a bit harder. But everything is the same. Okay, so we got only one toxic spitter. Let's just deal with it. And there we go. Now let's get their loot gotten more green more green and we have enough green ladies and gentlemen so we just don't have six red and then we'll be able to open up all of those crates which is going to be very 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 awesome and let's see what kind of loot we're gonna get inside of this crate so we're gonna get another glock which is lovely okay so i think we can get more space by getting these beans over here i can get this glock and i can get the rest of these items and we have another jacket which i already have one so i think getting another one is not really worth it also here if you have a gas mask you'll be able to go and loot this room but I do not have a gas mask. And you do get gas masks from red crates. And hey, let's try to deal with the rest of these zombies. So over here, the fence is electrified. We can go through that fence anyway. So we can still open up the door. And I don't think you're going to get any damage. But I'm going to be very careful. We can now lure a bunch of these zombies. Go, 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 schmuck! We can lure them to that wall. We'll be able to wall trick them. So we did get some damage. But hey, once we lead them to this wall trick, it's going to be a bit better. A bit easier. I should be saving this machete for those other zombies, so I am going to get this cleaver right now. So let's deal with these toxic spitters with the cleaver, as that machete is going to be useful for that other room. Okay, so let's try to attack them. They kind of moved around a bit, and it kind of works. Yeah, it somehow, somehow works. We're not getting that much damage from these toxic bombs and that toxic spitter, so it is good enough. Let's actually heal up, because our health was dangerously low, like 33. You should always keep your eye on your health. There we go. Let's deal just with the rest of them. I'm not even going to wall check them. There we go. We just got them and cargo value has increased. Let's see what other cargo value we're going to get here. Plus, we've gotten these things, which is awesome. Let's take it. Let's definitely take it and let's go to the supply. And there we're going to get four gunpowder. But, but again, once you open up that crate, you do get some other options. So you might get something better. There we go. Let's heal up with these beans. And we have used here a decent amount of healing items. So even with wall checking, you are still using a decent amount of healing items. And the biggest bottleneck in this... We've just got nothing here. Wow. And the biggest bottleneck in this game, if you don't farm green zones, are going to be healing items. All right. So let's open up the door. We got here a frenzy giant. We can probably wall check him here through this wall. So this is going to be the last frenzy giant of the third floor. All right. So my cleaver just broke. Let's get this machete then. It's going to be very tough to clear that huge room with a bunch of zombies. So I would just suggest you to not clear it at all because it's not worth it. But whatever, we've gotten another red ticket. We need five more red. Let's get this chest. And inside of this chest, we've gotten another yellow ticket. This is awesome. So let's see what other melee weapons we got here. We have here a katana and we also have here a pipe. So let's probably maybe get a pipe because I feel like pipe is going to be more common than a katana. So I want to show you how to deal with that room in case if you don't have any katanas. Let's also open up this door. Let's obviously get now more healing items. I definitely suggest you getting here bandages, but probably other things are going to work just well. Let's go over here. 
we can sneak attack this Toxica bomb with the Sawblade Maze. If you don't have it, you can use other things. And there we go. Now we can run all the way down there. Just look at it. We can go through here. We can go through here. And now we can hide through this wall. There we go. Let's hide over here. Let's get that thing. But hey, first of all, we have a machete. So look at this. All of these zombies are just going to stay there. Try to deal with as many of them as possible through these walls. So there we go. As you can see, a bunch of these zombies were not attacking us. There's still one more Toxic Spitter that came out of nowhere. Let's get it and let's now open up our skills and let's see what we've got in here. Probably let's get the Bruiser. Your health is increased by 10. Let's get it. Now we have more health. And look at this. Now we can go and attack these other Toxic Abominations. Again, it's still kind of tricky as there is an insane amount of zombies. Even though we dealt with a lot of them. There are still lots of them. And wall tricking is still very, very tricky. Let's get it. That's it, my thing broke. Let's get here a pipe. So now it's way easier. It's just two toxic bombs plus a toxic spitter. Maybe we can even let some of them come closer. There we go. We've just separated them. So we can easily deal with this toxic abomination. Which again, the toxic bomb definitely does some damage to us. But it's way easier to fight one on one rather than fighting three zombies at the same time. As this way you get way less damage. And there we go. So it is possible to clear that room. We did use some of the healing items. We did use more weapons etc etc but we are gonna get some tickets so let's open it up and let's see what kind of tickets we're gonna get we've gotten one green another green one red which you don't always get a yellow a yellow so we've gotten a few green a few yellow and a red ticket which you're not always gonna get it okay i'm glad that i just healed up because i had like 30 or something health and i almost died from that fence but i'm glad that i noticed that Okay, we can go back to healing with these things as I don't want to save my mana just for something more serious. Here we've gotten another yellow ticket. We've got an, a hammer. And inside of this other crate, we've gotten one more yellow coupon, which is awesome. And there we go. Just like that, we have cleared the entire third floor. And we have profited a lot from this third floor because check this out. We can open up this green crate. We can open up this yellow crate, right? Plus we have some extra coupons for the next run here. And at the same time, we can almost open up this red crate, so we could go and fight the blind one in the hard mode third floor, or we could go out to the second floor and deal with some more friends of giants, and then we'd be able to open up this green, uh, this red crate, and we'd be able to get an insane amount of loot. But these red tickets won't go anywhere, we'll be able to use them next time, so no worries about that, but inside of this green crate, we're gonna get another leather armor, we're gonna get some more glocks, we're gonna get here some healing items, which is absolutely awesome, plus inside of this yellow crate, we've gotten more healing items, more armor, more guns, and with four more red tickets, we can open up this red crate and here we're gonna get four guns, two armors, and a bunch of other things. So it's insane. Bunker Alpha is insane. So that's why I keep telling you that you should be clearing Bunker Alpha. And also we are probably done with Act 1. Let's check this out. We are done with this thing. Now we can get this flamethrower. We can get some healing items, another skin. So let's claim all of these rewards. And there we go. Now Act 1 is over. We can probably start Act 2. But for that, we have to return home, as it says complete Act 1 and return home. So I have brought all the loot from Bunker Alpha all the way here to the top to these lockers. So we already have here a decent amount of Glocks. We have here a decent amount of coupons. Here we also have some armor that I'll probably store here. There's no point for us to bring that stuff back to the base. In this other military locker, I have some other things that I should be bringing back to the base one day. And here we have some more garbage that one day I am going to bring back to the base. Actually, thinking about it, I will probably leave this military armor here in Bunker Alpha as military military armor is more useful in Bunker Alpha than anywhere else. So I'd rather use this leather armor at the base and this tactical armor is gonna stay at Bunker Alpha. I'm also leaving all of these glocks as we already have some weapons at the base, so there's no need to bring all that stuff to the base. Also, we got Connor at the base. Let's talk to Connor. Hi, I'm building a settlement not far from here. I need your help. Okay. I'll be waiting for you there. I'm Connor, by the way. And that's how we're gonna unlock that second base, aka the settlement. And check this out, we have just unlocked the Act 2. So inside of this Act 2, we'll be able to get these items, and Connor has found a good place to live. Who knows what this land can yield. So as you saw yourself, Bunker Alpha is one of the best places in the game. If you want to progress in last and Earth survival, keep clearing Bunker Alpha. So I highly suggest you check it out my no one survived Let's Player. Click here on the second card and go to my scum survival Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to jump subscribe button and notification bell that miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yep